All right, so tonight we are back with this pen. This is a Waterman 0552.5V. Um, it is obviously the basket weave filigree uh, gold plated version. Um, it's in pretty good shape, as you can see. The, uh, the filigree itself is factory, done by Waterman, and is in really good shape. Um, some minor markings here and there, but good luster. Um, very, very little real damage or, or anything like that. Um, there are some markings here and there. Um, the rubber underneath is black, smooth rubber. Um, it has faded a bit, but looks really great with, the, with this overlay still. Um, you, you really can't tell unless you get it in sunlight or compare it to a, another pen. Uh, so the lever filler, of course, 52s are all lever fillers, no matter what variation. Um, the lever's in really nice shape. No marking or, or patina or, or anything like that, any type of brassing on there. Um, it's got the black section here. Um, there is some very minor, uh, there's some... There's some very minor brassing or something like that to the gold there, which I'll try and show in pictures uh, right on the edge here where it says Waterman. It's, it's difficult to notice, but it is there. Um, and then there are some, there's some chipping in the, the section here and in the threads. They don't affect writing or, or the thread operation at all. 52, and this one is a ring top. Um, the ring is in really good shape, nice and tight, nice... Nice luster still as well. Um, what's exciting about this pen, of course, is the nib. Uh, not uncommon with Waterman pens. Uh, we're all looking at the nibs here. Um, this one has a really nice flexible stub nib. Um, really smooth riding stub. Really great dynamics, riding dynam dynamics. Really good flex and nice response. Nice and straight, as you can see, a little bit of a beak. Hasn't been over flex, you know, a really straight nib for sure there. I mean, it writes just excellent. So I'm going to fill it up here, show you guys what it can do. Um, ink of choice today is none other than the popular, because it's good, Eero Kanpeki. That's if I can get the top off, which I was able to. So again, the 52.5V is a lever filler, of course, so pop the lever out as shown, insert into ink, and pull the lever back. Let's give this section a little wipe here. Let's clean up this bottle a little bit off camera here just hopefully so next time I go to open it it's not quite so difficult the dried ink dries on the threads and makes it really hard to open these bottles just wipe that up a little bit that should be a little better hopefully all right so I'm gonna go ahead and post this pen 52 and a half V is a small pen it's short and thinner um, I have no problem writing with any of these pens as long as they're posted. So you post it and it's good, uh, it's good size. Sorry about that. Okay. All right. I got quite a 
full fill on this pen just because it's so short. I got some ink on me there. Got a few characters there. <laughs> All right. As you can see, this thing has a lot of flex. Um, it is a little bit stubbish here. I'll show you. With the downstrokes are going to get a little bit wider, and the cross strokes are nice and fine. So upstroke should be a little bit wider. Downstrokes or side strokes, nice and fine. You have to get the uh, stubs flat or else they don't write at all. Right there. It's hard with the camera. I can't tell. I'm basically writing with one eye. It's hard to tell with depth perception. Really smooth, this pen. Obviously, really good ink delivery. Just stripe in the page there. It's great ink delivery. This is a really good writer. Um, this nib is really, really nice. Really nice nib um, and a great feed on this pen, as you can see there. Uh, stub's a little bit finicky. You gotta kind of get it flat, but you get used to that. And I promise you, if I weren't writing with the camera in my face, I had less uh, less of an issue with that. So thank you for watching this one. Uh, this pen will be up for sale very soon. Uh, as soon as I get the video uploaded, and get the ad written out. It will be up for sale, so it should be the next day or two. Um, thank you guys so much for you know staying tuned to the channel and just watching everything that I put up. Um, I got a lot of really nice pens that I've been working on that I'm going to get out sooner than later, so stay tuned for those. Um, thank you for watching. We will see you in the next one.